Hello, sir. Hey. Thank you very much for joining in, sir. The first question that I want to ask you is to like how your experience has been with this React Nexus like event. So to be so far to be very very frank, React Nexus is very cold to my heart. Reason being, I I am coming here from from the the year it started basically, and the best part basically two things. Uh, one, I get to meet good Lucky. friends over here. Yeah. I get to meet people whom I generally meet once a year. People are stepping out from, say, suppose London. There are people who came from Germany. So they are very good friends. Basically, I get to meet in this conference. The second, the kind of a talent, the kind of a energy, the kind of a passion, the new, new gen, basically, which comes out basically and talks about the greatest stuff, right? Right. That's something that you don't find it outside, right? That is a. This is a platform where you get to see both the thing. You get to see people doing crazy stuff. And on top of it, you get opportunities basically to present those things. So I think it's a win-win situation for me to meet a lot of people and obviously hear the great talks by great people. Fair enough. Uh, Chirag, for the, for the people who are kind of uh, going to know you for the first time, I wanted to kind of brief about yourself a bit, in a bit, I mean slightly short, keep it short. Sure. Uh, so I am <laughs> I am an engineering manager at Microsoft. So in within a Microsoft Ads basically. So apart from that, I create content. Basically, I have a small YouTube channel by my name Chirag Goel. Small. So very small. People. Very small. Okay. <laughs> so I I have created some of the series like Chuck the System Design, Namaste Front End System Design, right? Uh, and Chuck the Interviews. So those kind what of. What is your What is your something. content evolve around? Like. So most of the basically? most of the things basically I develop on the front end side. So okay. as I talk about front end interviews or system design on the front end side, mm -hmm. mostly my content revolves around the front end. Front end part only. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so the, for, for the people who are kind of uh, an uh, aspirant of uh, this front end developer, yeah. what would you suggest to them like to kind of get on with this thing? How can they be uh, the front end developer? Or maybe apparently get into this companies like Microsoft. Okay, so in short, I generally say that, hey, if you see something, it's not about look and feel, right? So generally people think that, hey, if I see something crazy in terms of the look, I should get passionate about. No, mm -hmm. if you feel like, hey, I see some experiences, I go to some website, I go to say, suppose any of the major companies that we know, like government sites and all sort of thing, mm -hmm. and you feel like, hey, this is screwed up, I could have done better. Or I know a better way basically to get through this process or I could have achieved or you could have created this flow in a decent fashion in order to do that, right? Right. And you are a person who have a keen around how to do that. You get questions. Hey, how this thing is basically done? How I can basically achieve it? If you get those questions around whenever you see any web application, right? right. Any of those, mm -hmm. then you are a right person. Because I generally feel you can become a best person when you have a best curiosity, right? If curiosity, you are a person with yeah. a curiosity, that That's makes you to the top of the funnel. Because the second thing is very easy, to get things answered. The toughest part is get the right question. Inquisitivity right? basically, yeah. Uh, fair enough. Oh, how many years of experience you have so far? So I have 10 plus year experience. So oh I, my god. So I have stopped counting after 10. <laughs> so I generally say 10 plus. I don't want it to keep in my, my mind as well. So but yeah. You've stayed in Microsoft for like a decade or more so? No, no, no. no. So I joined Microsoft three years back. Basically. Tell, us, tell us your experience. Which, which, year, which year did you kind of okay, uh, graduate so I, in? I basically started working for uh, as a freelancer in my second year of my college. Okay. I joined a company uh, as a full-time employee in my third year basically. Right. I started my startup in my fourth year. I run uh, that startup for one and a half year approximately. Startup was all about? Like uh, it was an ed tech basically. So there are many companies which are evolving right now uh, around that. I won't mention. One is like I can. So competitive preparation uh, companies like yeah, Tesla if you are known about. Right? Right, right, right. So we were building on those areas and there are some ideas that we had around what LinkedIn basically mm -hmm, does. So mm -hmm. a different version of LinkedIn basically. Right. So that is what my basically edtech used to do basically All right. by then. All right. And then I we, we decided hey things are not going in the way we decided and okay. there was something lacking in our team basically, right? Uh, Apart from the tech. How requirement. long did the, how long did that like last? So it, it lasted for around one and a half year approximate. Achha. So we were building multiple things. We they were workshop and all sort of things. Fair enough. Then we decided we step into the corporate. I came to Bangalore basically. I joined a startup. Okay. I wanted to learn Which was in year? Uh, so it was in uh, year 2016. Fair enough. So okay. in 2016 basically I stepped down in Bangalore basically started working with a startup. I worked for around two years. Then and I then thought hey there is more to explore. Uh, more hunger. I joined another company. So from there scaled from three uh, front end team 
and went to 15 uh -huh. uh, front end team basically uh, uh, was working as a lead then i thought again i am the person did, on the funnel did the did the hype of microsoft have excited you to kind of get into it no no never ever so for me it was always always uh, the learning curve where i felt hey i am at the top right now in the the surrounding and the ecosystem where i am i don't have a source of love you have you had your vision uh, behind like joining this microsoft company as in specifically anything no, it it happened by chance and to be very frank i was having no intent basically to Actually, join it okay. so everything happened because of some some cause right was I, there any round of dsa that you had to give so i will tell Even you about microsoft so I, 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 before microsoft Keep i joined sure. flipkart okay oh were you so in flipkart I, as well I, i left a very good package basically in my startup basically Achha. which i never got even i worked for two year two and a half year at flipkart okay so that was a package i have to drop basically uh -huh. from the startup and i joined the the flipkart but i never regret reason being i always enjoyed i i am very clear in terms of why i joined that particular company or mm -hmm. why i step at a uh, particular role so i have some expectation if that is getting met second other thing are secondary so uh, money was not a primary thing was it, was it a choice the front end developer role because you've already had experience of i think uh, more than 6 uh, or more so in yeah. earlier on so the startups I and all i have worked on uh, full stack i have like when you run a company you work, yeah. as a cto basically you are doing everything you right? preferred this role i preferred this because this is something as i said if you get more curiosity on certain things i think that is the best thing that i thought it came to you by default because of the vacancy in that role and then no, they saw you be fitting role okay. <laughs> so for me the interesting thing this is what i wanted to take it and Achha. i took it by my choice and i i always enjoyed this journey go ahead okay so, uh both tech stuff ho gayi uh, let's let's uh, let me ask you like what makes you happy in life so for me very small things make me happy uh example uh, i have a craving uh, at midnight hey i wanted to have something Achha. right and uh, i generally step out even i that, that may be a very funny thing uh -huh. for me even a, a small uh, meetha pan we we call in india right mm -hmm. can make me happy right so for that i'm 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 okay to travel 20 kilometers also in order to just grab that mughlai pan if anyone basically okay. love that fair enough so, pan and on the other side basically i i for what make me happy very very small things mm -hmm. right so people think like external things basically make you happy like getting a big like maybe flat or a car or something i never luxury stuff no no luxury so for me these are this these can change right Achha. and these are very temporary whenever you have it you need it more so do you feel do you feel successful after never, this never. this Dude, decade of experience not at do, all do you still have goals to kind of fetch 100% i keep on learning every day i keep learning. on chasing things on every day basis right so okay. in short i feel like if you feel you are successful you have a stop crying like yeah, you, you are a dead you are a dead person because your life will only end when you die yeah. so if if you die in terms of having a goals and sort of thing you may be living uh -huh. Uh -huh. from a, for the external world right 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 but you have died yeah man thank you very much for joining in sir it was nice cool. talking to you man yeah thank nice, you nice nice good to know that yeah thanks a lot guys bye bye